The Ashango bone was found in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the Ashango region, near the borders of Uganda and Zaire. It was buried in layers of volcanic ashes on the shores of Lake Edward. About 25,000 years ago, a small community existed near this lake. They fished, grew crops, and gathered. But they existed for only a few hundred years before a volcanic eruption buried the community, hiding it and all evidence of it for thousands of years. Now the Ashango bone is a, a it's dated to about 22,000 years old and it is the second oldest mathematical tool known to mankind and it is from the upper paleolithic era. The bone is 10 centimeters long. It is dark brown and curved with a sharp piece of quartz attached to the end. It was found in 1950 by a Belgian man who was on an expedition in the Congo. It dates to about 18,000 to 20,000 BC, so it's pretty old. Now there are etchings on the bone, 168 to be exact, and they are in three parallel columns along the length of the bone. The first column is the M column, M for middle. The left column is referred to as G, and the right column is referred to as D. Now the discoverer of the bone, Jean de Hernzelin, believed the bone was evidence of the knowledge of simple mathematics. This interpretation is based on evidence which compared Ashango harpoon heads to those found in North Sudan and ancient Kemet. This led to the idea of a link between mathematic processes conducted at Ashango with the beginnings of mathematics in Kemet. Now there have been multiple interpretations of the bone, but no conclusive idea of how exactly it was used. Now it is wide, it's not really widely known that two bones were actually discovered. The second bone is about 10 to 14 centimeters long, but not much study has been done, done on that second bone like the first. Now what we do know is that the left column holds prime numbers and totals to 60. The right column holds numbers that are linked to the number 10, and those numbers also total 60. And the middle column holds a number and it's double, and it totals 48 in the column. While the Ashango bone may not be the oldest mathematical bone in the world, it is possibly the oldest prime number table in the world. You know, today I feel like modern man, you know, pounds on their chest and claims to be the creators of so many things. They brag about the accomplishments of today modern technology when really all modern man has done is stood on the shoulders of geniuses and giants of thousands of years ago and has taken what they've done in some cases expanded on it to better mankind and in some cases just straight up took credit for what they never created or you know never even had the mental capacity to envision and you know I give credit to our ancient ancestors because they've left behind some remarkable things like this bone it's something small something simple but tells us the extent of their mathematical knowledge then and that is the foundation of so many inventions and creation and so much technology that we has that we have today so um, the Ashango bone is just something very interesting and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed that quick bit of information and I'll see you soon.